The staff of Pierce County Elections and I love to get out to the community and we especially like classrooms like this. Maybe that your teacher would give you extra credit if you did register to vote. Is that the case? Yes! yes. <laughs> it does our hearts good to know that AP government is being taught and civics are being taught in schools because that kind of information makes for a lifelong voter who's going to be educated and who's going to be passionate about making a difference. Given what I heard your teacher Scott already saying and what I see on the blackboard, you're already ahead of the curve. Everybody gets excited about a presidential election. Local elections, you're going to be voting on things that impact you the most. The Board of Directors of Bethel School District number 403 adopted residents. It's going to determine how fast an ambulance is going to get to your grandmother's house, job outlooks, what kind of an economy you want to have locally. The majority of counties do not provide a voter pamphlet. We do. Sometimes it's real thick like this. Sometimes, like for the February 13th special election, it's going to be small and it's going to be inserted into your ballot. I think everybody understands that when you're 18 to 24, that is the age bracket with the smallest voter turnout. It's a constant conversation about how to get young adults more engaged in local elections. What I hear is that they don't feel like it's relevant to them. They don't vote because they don't feel like they know enough or they don't feel like whatever they're going to say is going to matter. And because that they feel almost cheated by the, the government system regardless of whether or not they vote either way. Because candidates don't talk about what young people want to hear, young people don't go out to vote. And the reason that the candidates don't talk about what young people want to hear is because young people don't vote. It's a vicious cycle, isn't it? You've got to be able to disrupt that cycle with your voice, not just with a ballot, but by contacting a local elected official. And you don't have to have a hair on fire issue to talk about. You can simply make your mark by saying, tell me a little bit about yourself. These are the issues that are important to me. Definitely call candidates and okay. people that are running campaigns. I didn't know you could do that until you told me about it. Yeah, absolutely. If young adults can start voting now, they are going to send a signal to elected officials that they can no longer be ignored. Right, have you thought about running? Uh, I'm more interested in like mechanical engineering. Stuff okay, like that, okay, like okay. Well, they have mechanical engineers in Congress too, <laughs> so think, think about it.